Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog Cross Country and with us head coach Jared Kelsch. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me. This past Saturday, obviously, uh, only home competition of the year and a great uh, day for the, the Bulldogs as you win the uh, Ray Helsing Bulldog Invitational, both on the men's and women's side. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic weather. Um, you know, super excited to, to get one in. Um, you know, we generally went a little bit shorter on the women's side with the 5K, um, and, and so they'll, they'll move up to the 6K this week um, at Michigan State. But um, just great for both squads who uh, were pretty young on both sides to be able to, to get one in in good weather and, and kind of have a rust buster for the season. Before we get to some of the action uh, here this past weekend, obviously this event going on a long time, 44th annual event, and an event that's named after a, a guy that started the Bulldog program in Ray Helsing. Yeah, yeah. Um, fantastic that they were able to rename it in 2010. Um, you know, he, he was a huge part of a fair state cross country and, and track and, you know, one of the all-time winningest coaches. So um, it, it's great to be able to see a lot of alumni that ran for him still come out to the meets and support. Uh, he has family that still come to the, to the meet every year. So um, always exciting to be able to, to celebrate such a great uh, coach who had an inspiration on so many Ferris State athletes over the years. We'll get into the highlights of the women's action uh, here to start the day. And obviously uh, your women's team uh, running strong with uh, several returning uh, uh, letter winners from last year back uh, here in the mix this year. Yeah, yeah, we were really pleased with, with how we ran. Uh, again, we, we have eight freshmen uh, that we added to the team this year, so we, we we're pretty young out of the 21 that we have on the on the squad. Um, you know, we, we ended up beating Northern Michigan by, I think, five points. Uh, they were preseason ranked, I think, 15th or 16th in the country. So um, that was that was big for us. Uh, first one out to, to be able to kind of to make a mark and see where we're at and, and allows us to move on uh, going forward, so. Five uh, runners uh, here for the Bulldogs able to finish in the top ten overall. Who who were some uh, bright spots for you here uh, in terms of the way they ran? Uh, Katie Atlamecki won the race. Um, I think she was about 30 seconds in front of second place. Um, our, our freshman, true freshman Paige Dietering did fantastic. Uh, she was our second runner for us. Uh, and then I think our top five were rounded out by uh, Sydney Dawes, Kenzie Garvey, and Jenny. And so um, they're they're all sophomores. Uh, returners that are now juniors, so they did a fantastic job of really stepping up on a, on a team that's that's very young. So, obviously, uh, great weather conditions here and a nice day uh, to run uh, here at Khaki Golf Course. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to ask for for better conditions than we've had. You know, last couple of years, it's it's been a little a little bit more humid and, and a little hotter. So to be able to have these conditions for our first race um, really really lets us you know um, maybe put a little bit more effort in than than we have in the past um, just because it is such great conditions and um, gives us a great starting point moving forward for the year. See the leaderboard right there as we shift over to the men's side and obviously uh, the men's team uh, had a strong day as well. Uh, eight uh, top finishers all uh, from Ferris State. Yeah, yeah, our guys um, did very, very well. Uh, had some freshmen step up run an 8K for the first time uh, and some returning sophomores and, and a couple of seniors that really just uh, took the lead right from the gun and. Um, really put the hammer down so um, that was great to see I think our top six guys were all within 90 seconds which um, which is good start for us especially like I said having a couple of freshmen in that top group you know eventually we'd like to whittle it down to, to maybe 60 um, but yeah we were, we were pretty happy with how that turned out for the first one and um, you know just just like I said kind of kind of getting that first one in and uh, excited for the season to keep moving forward. Damian Halverson the individual winner uh, for the Bulldogs and nice to see him as a senior uh, be able to win this race uh, here, a guy that's been around the program for a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's really put in a lot of additional work this year, um, you know, really wants to kind of go out with a bang. Um, it, it's great the last couple of years, you know, we had Trevor Hollowati last year win it as a senior and then Damian come back this year and do it. So um, it, it's exciting when you, when you see the hard work of, of those guys who've been here four years, um, you know, pay off and um, really starting off on a good note as a senior and, and, and hope to continue to move forward as we push through November. So. What does it mean uh, for both teams to be able to run that uh, race here at home and a, a chance to run in front of maybe some of the fans and friends uh, from around the area? Yeah, it's, it's always great. I mean, we have a, a great support system. Our, our fans and, and the community tend to travel and, and watch our meets, but um, it's always great when you can have one at, at home. You feel a little bit more comfortable. You get to sleep in your own bed. Um, you know, you're, you're not so worried. Obviously, we've, um, we've run this course before, so they've, they've had an opportunity to see it and um, kind of know what's what's coming, so it's it's great to be able to get a race in, um, you know, within the community and, and have that much more support than we typically would if we were we were traveling, as it's our only home meet. So, 
I know a lot of work goes into it on a volunteer side as well, from Khaki Golf Course to your, your event staff, uh, your track and field kids, uh, certainly a lot of people involved in uh, putting on a meet like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, can't be done by yourself. Uh, it really does take the community, and so um, having those volunteers and, like you said, some of our track athletes who you know won't compete until January um, come out and help and, and be a part of it and support uh, the cross-specific kids are, is, is a great way for uh, everybody to get to know each other and, and kind of intermingle within the community and the university. So certainly, you know, appreciate their support and their, their help throughout the, the year. This week uh, coming up, uh, you go to Michigan State, Michigan State Spartan Invitational. Uh, talk about that event and what you hope to see uh, here in the, the second week of the season. Yeah, that's always a big one for us. Uh, again, we bump up from the 5K to the 6K on the women's side. Um, the men get a chance to run an 8K again. Uh, but in terms of numbers, uh, there's generally you know a couple hundred athletes. Uh, races usually around noon, so the conditions are a little bit different. It's usually hot, humid on a Friday afternoon. Um, and, and so it really kind of tests our, our strength and durability. Um, and, and so putting us up against D1, D2, NAIA, D3 schools, so really kind of covers the gamut. And um, it's really our first big test. I mean, like I said, our meet's great because we get one in and um, have a race under our belt, but this is kind of our, our first big one where we, we see some um, really good schools. So um, we're very excited to, to get this underway and, and kind of see where we're at. As you look ahead uh, here to the cross-country season coming up at the end of the year, the GLIAC Championships in Grand Rapids, the, the Regional Championships in Hillsdale, how nice is it to have some of those big meets uh, here, here in West Michigan? Oh, it's, it's great. Uh, you know, normally we're, we're traveling. We've been to Southern Indiana, to Cedarville, so usually, you know, every year our, our regional meet is, you know, between six and eight hours away. So to have it, you know, just a couple hours away where our kids can sleep in their own beds and we can travel down just the night before instead of a couple of days before, that type of thing. Um, it just makes it a little bit smoother transition um, for such a high caliber meet. Um, and I think it keeps our kids a little bit uh, more excited and um, calm because, you know, it's, it's, we don't make a big to do out of it. It's like, hey, we're just, we're just going within our conference, within our region, um, you know, to, to places we've run before. So um, super excited that, that our, those championship meets are, are within the state of Michigan. And um, again, that just kind of gives us more support um, as, as we tend to have kids, you know, parents who will travel to, to meets in Michigan. So. Well, Coach, congratulations again on what was a, a great weekend for the Bulldogs, and uh, best of luck as you travel to Michigan State coming up uh, this weekend. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action online and get all the results at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.